This presentation today is going to be pretty short, actually. Um, one of the things that we were kind of looking at is what's some product of ours that are that's growing. Um, I mean, obviously, as a company and as a digital industry, it's growing quickly. But what's a specific product that we see uh, benefiting the Catholic, uh, the Catholic world, especially, um, you know, everybody likes to talk about buying digital scoreboards. And obviously you guys at Bishop O'Dowd are getting one of the best in the, in the nation in your gym. Um, but when you look outside and you think, okay, we got a football field, we got a, maybe a soccer field, a baseball field, a softball field, you know, um, and we have other uses as well. Um, but you know, certain schools can't afford to put digital in every venue. And if they put one on their football field, you know, oftentimes they're neglecting lacrosse or track or soccer or baseball or whatever. And so um, the product that we're going to talk about uh, here over the next maybe 20 or 30 minutes is, is purely um, geared towards being a, um, a vehicle, if you will, um, to, uh, to really help a, a school as a whole uh, impact their whole entire student body, all of their athletes, uh, and even more than that. So we'll kind of dive in here real quick. Um, so uh, why is portable growing so fast? Um, well, it's growing so fast for really a number of reasons, but flexibility of uses, uh, you can score multiple games in sports. Uh, it's an amazing new revenue stream, um, fan engagements off the, off the charts, um, student engagement, hands-on training, um, streaming uh, for home and, and fans that maybe can't make it into a, into a game because of COVID. Nowadays, we're starting to see schools doing watch parties in parking lots and different things like that. And then, uh, and then really non-sporting events, uh, announcements, um, advertising, movies, video game fundraisers, community outreach, and more. Um, so this is what the portfolio looks like. Um, we, uh, we've custom built and designed five sizes that range um, from a, a seven foot tall, 12 foot wide uh, up to the five by or 18 by 15, I should say, uh, which is actually what you're getting in your gymnasium uh, at uh, Bishop O'Dowd on, uh, on the, uh, the one end, you're getting two of those. Um, and then they keep going up from there. Um, the, the really great thing about these boards is it's the exact same resolution that we put in an indoor gym. Um, so it's ultra high resolution, uh, high brightness, high clarity and contrast. Uh, but they're built on these self-contained trailers with generators, control system, computer system, everything built into it. And so, um, you know, it just makes for a very easy, um, uh, very easy use whenever you, you know, move it out to a soccer field for a, you know, Tuesday evening soccer game, and then maybe the next day you're moving it to the softball field to score your softball games or what have you. Um, but those are the those are the, the five sizes that we have available. Um, and here's where it gets really unique. Um, you know, in the past, you would put up a scoreboard and you'd go out and, and raise money for advertisers to go underneath it, or nowadays in digital for those advertisers to go on the board as well during the game. With these trailers, What's so unique about these is our customers also have the opportunity to put them into a, a portable digital display, like a rental program. So let's just say, for example, there's a PGA event um, out in California, let's say Pebble Beach. Um, well, uh, you know, they're gonna, you know, all of the corporate sponsors are going to rent trailers to have on, on hand for those events to advertise, you know, their company, their new product launches, whatever else is the case. There's a company that we partner with that will rent these trailers from our customers around the country. Um, and um, that rental company pays for all transportation and insurance to cover the rental. They will come to your school, they will pick up the trailer, they will take it to the event. Uh, it's a 70-30 revenue share traditionally with the school receiving 70%. Um, the average rental income on a trailer like that is $3,500 per day. So it's another great revenue stream where you can, you know, buy a trailer, use it for all the things you need. And then when it's sitting in the parking lot, um, you know, at school not being used occasionally throughout the year, depending on wherever the event is, um, you know, they're going to come up, pick up the trailer and, and you're going to be making money for basically just having that in your system. So this next slide will kind of show you exactly what I'm talking about. And that was just from this past week. So this is the Super Bowl. So this was last night's Super Bowl in Tampa. Um, you're seeing a whole bunch of different digital uh, trailers uh, in these pictures. Um, these all belong to schools or park districts or municipalities around the country that have bought them from us. We have about 185 trailers that have been sold around the country. 
Um, and the NFL, um, they rent, we had 22 trailers at the Super Bowl for one full week. So on average, each one of the people that owned these trailers probably made anywhere between 10 and $20,000 just to have their trailers loaned out uh, for the Super Bowl. So it's a great revenue stream opportunity, um, you know, for anybody that does have one of these trailers. So this next slide is actually um, a, a video we just put together last week at a school to kind of show one of these trailers in use uh, from, a, from a school's perspective. mobile LED digital scoreboards offered in five sizes ranging from 12 by 7 all the way up to the massive 23 by 13 featuring ultra bright high resolution screens with adjustable height and 360 degree rotation to capture an audience from any angle every max mobile LED scoreboard is fully self-contained with onboard power production equipment and is optimized for a 15 minute or less setup time featuring advanced real-time sports production and scoreboard usage. Each Max Mobile LED scoreboard comes fully equipped with iPad, computer, and easy-to-use scoring and advertising system with multi-sport support. Fully customizable scoring and graphic layouts, offering a wide array of preloaded sports, including baseball, basketball, soccer, tennis, football, and many more. Display live camera feeds, custom graphics, real-time scoring, overlays, ticker feeds, player stats, and more. The split screen advertising feature allows for additional promotional ad space and booster fundraising promotions. Max Mobile LED trailer is designed and built in the USA, durably engineered to withstand heavy rain, wind, or any condition thrown at it. Every Max Mobile LED screen includes an industry-leading five-year parts and labor warranty and elite U.S.-based support and training. That fixed digital scoreboard isn't the best option for you. you. Want the flexibility to have a screen that impacts a broader audience at multiple sporting venues and non-sporting events? Think. It's online at digitalscoreboards.net. So with those trailers, Carlos, one of the unique things is it's got an unbelievable ROI. I mean, it's going to truly pay for itself, both from an advertising perspective, um, the amount of students um, and advertisers you're going to impact, but also the possibility of the rental to be able to rent it out to, you know, events around the country. I know right now I'm working with Rob uh, Bishop at Palma High School uh, up in the Pebble Beach area. Uh, it looks like they're going to buy one of the 17 by 10 units. Um, and, um, you know, they know they're going to be able to rent it out with as many golf tournaments and everything else that are in their area. Um, but this, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of um, um, kind of fluff or anything else. They all come with full built on sound systems. Um, the screens rotate 360. They elevate 10 to 15 feet in the air. Um, so it allows a school to be able to pretty much put it wherever they want. We have a school that leaves it in their front parking lot for parent driveline and, you know, people dropping off and coming to school. And they're just, they're just advertising upcoming events, different things happen at the school and also their advertisers. So their advertisers are getting a lot of play in the front of school. And then on a, you know, Monday night or Tuesday night or whatever, they just hook up to it. They move it down to, to the softball field or the baseball field. And next thing you know, they're scoring a whole game on it. And those same advertisers are rotating in smaller ad zones while the scoring's going on, you know, so on and so forth. So it's a, it's an unbelievable problem product um, package um, doesn't necessarily make sense for every school, but where we're seeing it makes sense is schools that say, man, we've got four or five outdoor venues that we play sports at, or we have our track and field team or our golf team or those type, you know, student athletes that never get impacted. You know, I, we don't have a venue for those. We, you know, they're playing a golf tournament at X golf course, or they're running a cross country meet at wherever. Um, now we can take this board out to them um, versus, uh, you know, you know, give them that same atmosphere that we would give our other student athletes. So that's where we're kind of seeing this product really, uh, you know, really hit the mark. Um, you know, one of the nice things is not only, um, you know, can you make money on it, but we can finance it as well. I know a Bishop O'Dowd's case, you guys might be, you know, given that you're doing the, the beautiful gym remodel and spending a, an awful lot of money on that, I would imagine this product is probably not in the cards for you guys anytime soon. But I know, uh, you know, one of the last times I was on campus, 
um, there was some talk about whenever you guys redo your football field, you'll want to uh, you'll want to be looking at a permanent fixed um, digital, and, and that probably makes the most sense given how the field sits and where it's located and everything else. Um, but uh, you know, certainly from a from a portable digital standpoint, if you know of anybody that um, you know might uh, might be interested in in something like that, we would love some referrals uh, as well. Uh, if you know of any other schools in the area that these make sense for. Um, one of the things that we are seeing is a lot of the, the city schools like to buy these because there's no permitting they have to go through. So they're not getting, you know, they're not getting the, the local municipality involved in permits and engineering and structural and all those type things. Um, oftentimes those city schools have, they're very confined as far as how much real estate they're operating on. Um, and uh, these don't take up a lot of room and you can kind of maneuver and navigate them pretty good. And with the screen rotating, you can pretty much sit a trailer anywhere and make sure you rotate the screen to the optimal viewing, um, you know, angle as well. Um, so anyways, that, that kind of, that's what we were, you know, planning on uh, just presenting on today. Uh, just try to pick something unique that, uh, that the, you know, CNA has not seen from us yet. Um, and then just kind of see if there's any interest out there. You got any questions for me on your end? Uh, no, it all oh, seems pretty amazing. And uh, actually, the one question I had, you said earlier, because I was uh, at the stove, um, you said this, the size of the boards that are coming into our center is what? Which ones? Uh, that 15 by 8. Oh, 15 so, by 8. Okay. Yep. So uh, they'll look huge in your, they're, they're going to look really yeah. big in your gym. But yeah, yeah. they're eight foot, 8 foot 2 inches tall by 15 feet wide um, is what uh, what you'll get in your gym on the main on the main end. And the other end, you're getting a 3 and a half foot tall by 20 foot wide right. on the opposite side. And then obviously all synchronized. To, and then you know, yeah, right. splitting the two, right? We're splitting them in the two. That one. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Yep. So you'll have two on each side of the basket on yeah. this side and then two on each side of the basket on the other side. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Um, um, yeah, this looks awesome. I mean, we are with this construction of the gym, we will be redoing the baseball field because we have an opportunity yep. to do it. Okay. There was a question about the outdoor facility uh, screens. And so, yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna, I can't, I can't present <laughs> this right away, <laughs> this opportunity right away, but it definitely like sort of piqued my interest about, you know, because we do have some events, a lot of our events, uh, teams are off campus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah and so that's I, one and thing that also like maybe even a possibility of, of leagues, maybe, rep, you know, like renting yep. uh, this for certain big events. Yeah, so the, the Missouri State High School Athletic Association, which would be like the CIF for you guys, right. they actually bought the biggest trailer we sell. Um, right. So we delivered that to them, you know, last August, I guess. And uh, that's exactly what they do. They take it around to all like 41 state championships or something. And then they let schools and, uh, and different conferences rent it for, for big, bigger tournaments, bigger events, those type things as well. Um, and so it's kind of unique because the first people that are going to, that jump in on these are the ones that are going to make out the best because they're going to have right. a big, Cause, cause the big have, rental. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. And that's kind of where Rob was at at Palma. He's like, man, the sooner I move on this, the sooner I can make some money. And he's just waiting on a donor to come through on it. Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean, I definitely will. When I talk to Kim, I'll definitely, uh, bring this up, but I'm also like bringing up a bunch of other things. Yeah, that, for, like, sure, for, for sure. For sure. For yeah. this center, we're still trying to get the the performance lab all those all that equipment so i don't want to hit them over the head with so much but once again yeah. this is an opportunity to to make some money I don't, I don't know how many other schools in our in our area will be able to even pull that off at this point right now well no no i mean really nobody in your area is pulling off what you're already pulling off in your gym right. obviously right. that's number one and number two is is no schools in california like have any of these packages right now yeah. Um, a lot of park districts and municipalities are buying them, right. but uh, but not uh, not a lot of schools yet. It's just kind of just now finally starting to catch on with schools and they're understanding, man, we really know we need to go digital um, yeah. and we can't afford to drop a digital at every venue. Yeah. Um, so this is a way to be able to touch more venues and and, uh, and, and for basically the cost of one. Yeah, no, uh, it makes it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because <laughs> even if even if if we actually went this route and found someone to, to, to help us with it, it could be used even just because our current football 
facility has a really old yep. screen and then our baseball field obviously and which will be a baseball softball um facility on the remodel uh could use it you know on the other side for for that same experience as the basketball and volleyball teams are getting inside. That's exactly right. So when I was working, when I've been working with Rob at Palma on this, that was exactly the plan is this trailer would basically be parked between their soccer lacrosse field and their baseball softball field. Yeah. And so on a Tuesday when soccer is going on, it would face this way. And then on Wednesday when, you know, maybe baseball is going on, it would just, it would rotate the other direction and it would be scoring the opposite side. A uh, question for you. Does the, uh... On the trailers, does it does it sort of go up and does it have ability to go up and down like to a it, certain height? It does. They actually so the two biggest sizes, the the twenty three by thirteen and the twenty by twelve on the screen, they raise up fifteen feet. Okay. The three smaller ones raise up ten. Okay. Um. So yeah. So fifteen foot and ten foot. Um. They they raise up and it's all done with a remote control. Uh, yeah. on the hydraulics so there's remote control and it raises and, and spins and and then on the sides of the screen is where the speakers hang um, right. none of these renderings on the screen here have the speakers but every package comes with a sound system too okay and then uh what's the sort of uh because it would be you know possibly on baseball or soft you know softball fields like what what is the protection on the screen like uh what's the um you know, if a baseball hits it or, you know, even if it's close enough or a soccer ball or something like that, or a lacrosse yeah, ball. So, hits it. A soccer ball, lacrosse ball probably doesn't worry probably me not. as much because the, <laughs> the speed of those balls are going to dissipate before they get to By the it. screen. Right, right, right. But baseball and a softball, the, the screens are made up by little eight inch LED tiles. So yeah. if a ball does hit it and messes a tile up, you got to take one out and pop it back in. Um, yeah. But we, there is a portable netting system as well. There's okay. a clamp that goes on top of the board and just kind of picture an arm coming off the top of the board about two foot and then yep. a net drapes down in front of it. So that way, if a ball hits it, it hits that net and just kind of falls down before it hits the screen. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We do have those. I, I was sure you had, had thought about that, but yeah, yeah. that was something. Uh, I mean, we will have, a pretty big net because we'll be protecting we'll have to protect the gym yeah from balls flying uh you know and there's a terrace up above you know like basically in right field where balls could fly to sure so, but that yeah that would be the area in which i would based upon our current configuration although it would be actually yeah if we'd had a something on the field it actually would have to be moved down to the other side of the field because if it's set up by our baseball field the stands are literally on that same side as the baseball field. So they would, they would have the people in the stands would have to turn around to be able to see it. Sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. 